Welcome in everybody, Denver Post, Four Downs, Parker Gabriel, Ryan McFadden, Broncos beat reporters out here. Day one, technically, of training camp just wrapped up for the Broncos and uh, Ryan, Sean Payton made waves before camp even started technically <laughs> yesterday uh, with his comments about Nathaniel Hackett. He sort of, uh, I guess he apologized today, uh, was pretty blunt about it actually. He said he put his Fox hat on instead of his, his coach hat. What did you make of what, what Sean said today after really pretty spicy comments the other day? Yeah, I agree with you. I, well, excuse me, I, I agree with Payton there. Like you could kind of tell where uh, he did cross that line where something that he probably would have said maybe on TV or on radio or something like that. Talking uh, with his friends over yeah. a beer, maybe, yeah. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah. Um, so I, I, just, I can understand apology because at the same time, even though he did take some shots at the New York Jets and former head coach and now New York's office, according to Daniel Hackett, he also kind of like mentioned, talked about the organization as a whole and, talk, and mentioned how kind of like the way they didn't do their job and, um, last year in yeah. terms of like con controlling everything in terms of how to handle the rust situation and all the other things that went wrong. So yeah, it, it, it makes it makes sense for him to come out and make an apology and regret it. At the same time, you still have to look at those comments and kind of see the type of tone he wants to set here in, yeah. in Denver. And when I look, when, when reading those comments, it's basically simple that Payton is showing this organization there's a new sheriff in town and that's the kind of sense of Obviously, that's the type of that's the type of vibes we've gotten since he's arrived here. Yeah, he uh, he did. He sort of said directly too that he has a great relationship with George Payton. After Payton sort of indirectly, yeah. not not that indirectly, made his way into those comments too. Uh, number two, four most interesting things we saw and heard today. Uh, Russell Wilson talk. He's obviously trimmed up a little bit. Basically said, I want to be the best version of me that I can be. And he also talked about maybe uh, running a little bit more. Yeah, and we saw that we saw that out here on on the practice for today. We saw him really scrambling, being very mobile, mobile, mobile. Excuse me, uh, but yeah, like Russell Wilson's been saying that he said that earlier during the offseason program that this, he's in the best shape of his life. He's feeling good, and I think you know com, com, coming off a career low season, I, I'm kind of glad. You're kind of glad to see that type of mentality he has, and and like like we said. Sean Payne is coming here, and he's like, he's, he's not playing any games. Yeah. So you can tell Russell Wilson has got that vibe. Uh, he has sensed that as well. Like, it's time for him to step up. And I, and I, I think we're going to have a pretty solid year for him. Number three, Caden Stearns has a huge opportunity in front of him this year. Uh, he's, he's probably competing with Kareem Jackson for a starting spot. Third-year guy to Texas, missed most of last year with a hip impingement. Uh, made a play today, intercepted a tip ball from Justin Simmons right at the end of practice. Uh, they they sort of they really like where he's at. Sean Payton's spoken highly of him, so he's a guy that has a big opportunity in front of him to try to win a starting job and really become sort of a staple player of this defense as well. Yeah, he has. Uh, Kaneson has a lot of talent. Obviously, him and Kareem Jackson will be battling for that starting spot. You look at Kareem; he is someone who has been productive as well as been durable um, throughout his time here in Denver. But you got to look at Kaneson. He's he's a young guy, a lot of talent. We saw that out there today when he made that pick. So I'm looking forward to seeing that battle. Is one of the most interesting battles. Um, in camp, but overall, just the secondary as a whole had a really solid day. We saw them making a lot of plays on seven to seven, seven on sevens. So, just right off the back on the first day, in addition to Stearns, the secondary as a whole, you, that's a talent, like a, a really deep and talented group. Yeah. Last thing, I mean, Sean Payton, one of the things he said to USA Today was that anything they did last year, they're going to do different this year. And that was on full display. You, you weren't here last year for camp, but. Uh, there was seven on seven. We didn't see much of that last year. There was no music. There was music last year. There was, I mean, it just was all different. The tempo was high. Uh, one thing that won't change will be some guys, you know, limited here and there. That's that's with every team this year. We saw Garrett Bowles kind of on a pitch count today. Tim Patrick's on a pitch count. Guys that are coming back from injury. Javante Williams too. So it's going to be interesting. It's day one. We're settling in for the long haul here at Broncos training camp uh, for the Denver Post. Ryan McFadden, Parker Gabriel. Thanks for watching. We'll see you guys tomorrow.